I made a vow to change and already I've bottled it. A decision's only as good as the honest action that follows it. I could cast bravado to the side with this hallowed pride. Instead I tread the shallow tide of this narrow mind. Reading every one of your panicked expressions for evidence of a plan or intention. A passive aggressive manic depressive and never ending constant demand of attention. Even random gestures, playful jabs and public acts of affection are underscored by a palpable tension. My emotions are erratic at best. I measure love by how bad it makes me feel. Answer my question. What do you mean you wish you never fell in love? When you reject me then it makes me want to self-destruct. A bell rang in my chest then a pendulum swung. And hit a nerve, no fear echoes round my head like a deafening drum. But why ever confess the true extent of my love is anything but another petulant huff? My whole life I've kept myself safe by pretending I'm tough. In truth, I'm scared of love. I'm petrified that you're ready to run away with someone better, someone sexier, fun, someone thinner, smarter, more gentle, that won't punish you for every little thing you've never done. You've had enough of me. Why do you suffer me? What if my paranoia is justified? This guy, David, who is he? Well, it's just a friend at work. Yeah, just a work colleague. But how come he's texting you at night when you were me? I don't know. You don't you know. can read the message, it's not. I've read it. There's one kiss there and there's no kiss before. Uh, What's the subtext here? Is he just a friend? He's just a friend. I'm your fucking friend. I'm the only fucking friend you need, yeah? He's just you don't a fucking friend. text him again. Ever again. You just have no other friends, no other male friends. I'm the only me. friend you need. I don't me. care if he fucking works with you. No. You don't text him. You don't give anybody your fucking phone number. You've only got my number on your phone. Maybe I should pop into the pub you're drinking in. Like a surprise just to see who you're sitting with. I bet some guy's there trying to cozy up to you. Pretending that he's into all the same stuff as you. Toasting fancy wine glasses. I seen you before. Shooting fly glances, making every guy that passes think he's in with flying chances. You hurt me. How much money you pissing away? This is why I'm in charge of the finances. Mum always right. Shy lassies coming out their shells after five glasses. Treating guys like taxis. The radiator's still warm, so you're no long out. You've left your laptop on Facebook and you've no logged out. With the cheek to complain about the fact that I'm tense inbox full of messages for guys again. I'm winding myself up here. I feel like snapping, rehearsing the argument before it even happens. As I count the seconds of every minute you're out and overanalyze every twitch of your lip when you pout and watch you sleeping as I try and figure out who you're secretly thinking about while resenting those private parts of you that lay so far beyond my longest reach. He's constantly paranoid though. He's fucking nuts, man. That you have to leave. We're together, women to be together. You scared me? I scared myself, but what scares me more is the fact that you'd leave me and that's why I'll never do it again. I'll never do it again. How long till you leave? Whatever happened to you and me? I don't like myself much at the best of times. And these aren't the best of times. He fucking hit me. You... Jane, he hit you. Now you're on your way back for your friends, but it isn't just this flat that's an embarrassing mess. I'm a man obsessed. Love to you is a certainty, the comfort of an all-knowing calm sense But to me it's black dread and palm sweat A stomach full of tiny little storms that coalesce to form a map of my stress Love's a bitter little pill that I can't digest Love's a thousand forms of tenderness that I can't express Many make dinner but I'm covering my tracks instead Putting your things back where you left them like they haven't been touched Placing your laptop back on the bed He'd splitting like an atom, heart beating out my damn chest I'm still living in the past tense, viewing my present through a cracked lens Where every sharp bend drives me right off the edge Where every ray of light meets a dark end You have no other friends, no other male friends I'm the only friend you need Now I can hear your heels clapping on the tap step As I dim the light and draw the curtains like your last breath 